And uh, my name is Dan Grossman, like you said. Um, I'm the Nouveau Arts Editor. Um, and uh, basically the reason I'm here is about two weeks ago, Kogan Island and I talked by phone. Um, in preparation, I looked at some of his sight and sound uh, videos online um, that he was known for before he directed this his first feature. Um, and uh, you know what? Um, the questions were so good last time around. Um, I'm just going to hand it over uh, to the audience at this point for questions because uh, maybe you know a little bit about Koganada. I think you guys definitely know about John Show. So um, let me uh, open up for questions now. Uh, woman, uh, ma'am, in the front, in the middle. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to remember. Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I do, but there is a reason why we didn't subtitle it. You know, so uh, if you know Korean, you know what it is. <laughs> if you don't, it's just like real life. You know. <laughs> Can I just say, before we go on to the next question, I just wanted to say thank you for showing up. It's very meaningful to me, and I know to Koganada, and um, partially for me, uh, the reason I, I was so keen on being here uh, in, Indian, uh, in Indianapolis, and last night we were in Columbus, uh, is that a movie like this might falsely be put in some box and be perceived as some sort of, it's, well, it's, it's a movie that involves architecture, that's for New York and Los Angeles. And um, though the movie has universal themes, it, uh, it does take place in a very specific place, uh, Columbus, Indiana, and it has very specific themes. And um, it would, it would please me endlessly if this were to be embraced by the state of Indiana, and uh, and that if if you were to see this as your movie, and um, that would make me so happy, and so it 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 pleases me endlessly that you're here tonight. So thank you. And I should add, um, he is in the middle of a production in Canada, and uh, he was excused from uh, coming to uh, uh, Indiana for the Columbus premiere. And, uh, sorry. He, uh, he insisted on, on waking up way too early and making the flight, because um, this was really important to him. So. Sir. Yes, uh, question with respect to the, the location sites, the architectural sites, and the script. How long did that take you? What was the process where you matched the scene with the site itself? Yeah, you know, I had a general idea of a, a, of a narrative that I was exploring. And after I visited Columbus, uh, I had read an article in the New York Times, and uh, I took a day trip with my um, family. and we visited and you know i said um you know i just fell in love with the town and i immediately uh wanted to film there and putting that place in relationship to this story that i was pondering uh happened quickly like once i saw columbus um and and revisited columbus um uh, you know it only took about three months for me to have uh, uh like my first draft, which is very close to what, what you saw tonight, so, yeah. So, um, you, you made this movie, or the, 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 the uh, script was based upon this relationship, these interactions with people, but with architecture involved. Is that what you were, you wrote the... Yeah, well, so, I should be more specific. You know, the script is about, or what I wanted to explore was um, children feeling burdened by um, 
the possibility of absence in their lives. I mean, namely their parents, you know, the loss of their parents, um, either to death or making the decision to move away from them, which is, you know, in my mind, kind of like a small death, you know, that we all have to make that decision. Um, and to me, the reason why that was important is it feels like, a, it, you know, when we have to make meaning out of absence in our lives, that is a real modern dilemma, you know, especially with a break from our uh, past traditions that may no longer provide meaning. Uh, and so modernism as both an art movement and uh, that we see both in architecture and in modern art has always, um, has always been something that I've engaged as a place to explore meaning and absence. I mean, it has been very critical to my own being uh, these forms that really try to reveal the significance of absence. And so um, it was in my, I, I was a grad student and, and studying that as well. So when I saw Columbus, uh, it was very specific that it was this place of modern architecture and was, um, yeah, it was constructing meaning out of absence, you know, which I think a, a really good modern architecture can do. So it made a lot of sense for me to put that story in relationship to those spaces. And so I wrote, wrote to that event, yeah. Sir? Uh, kudos for such a great film and also for highlighting you know, what is such a common theme of there's no right way or wrong way to deal with grief and loss. Um, but my more poignant question is, John, did you use a butt double? <laughs> 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 the fact that you ask pleases me. <laughs> that was my butt. <laughs> we did. <laughs> I, I didn't know that that was going to happen. If, if I did, if I had known, I would probably have watched uh, what I ate at lunch <laughs> for a few weeks prior, but um, it came up suddenly. <laughs> Sir? Uh, not a good, like, no good uh, transition, but uh, mm -hmm. why this film for Mr. John, and then why Columbus for uh, the film? Were there other cities or other towns? Why this film, um, for me? Oh, geez, it's... Um, I, let me just say this, that uh, before I answer your question, it's like every... I've had a couple of moments in my... Not, not to bore you with the, the details of my uh, personal struggles, but I've had uh, a couple of moments in my career where I wondered... Why, why do this? How, how do I have fun? How do I find the joy? And, um, you know, when you're young, it's like, um, it's all so fun. And then you, and then, then you get married and have children and have a mortgage. And it's hard to not just, it's, it's, it's hard not to have things become just a job. And then you're, and then and then I struggled to, to 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 find joy in it, and 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 that's not a knock on the other jobs that I've had. It's just a personal thing that you you, you struggle with internally, and um, and I've had a couple of moments where certain projects kind of showed me why I'm supposed to be doing this, and um, for me. This film was one of those projects that, um, where I felt so fulfilled and so happy. Uh, it, it made me realize again, oh, this is why I'm supposed to be doing this and this is what I'm supposed to do. Why this film? I read it and um, it was, I was struck by its his, I should say, not it's his mm -hmm. courage to explicitly just to uh, to deal with what it means to be human in a very naked and courageous way. And it was so unusual 
It was unlike anything I've ever read. And then I also related to the character of Jin on a number of levels. And, and then after that, I really wanted to service this person's vision. Uh, after speaking with him, uh, I said, this is a person who's um, saying things that I'm very interested and passionate, interested in and passionate about, and I would like to assist him in any way possible. So that's, that's my journey. Yeah, in Columbus, uh, you know, because of uh, the thing I had mentioned, um, it's a town, if you've not visited, you know, it's only an hour away and you guys should uh, make that visit, really. It's, uh, it's phenomenal. It's, uh, it's sort of a case study for this question, again, that haunts me, which is, does art matter? You know, is it just a uh, frivolous thing that we do? Is it merely a distraction? And then the more money spent on it, the more uh, time and energy spent on it, that's a larger question, you know? And architecture, you spend a lot of money and effort thinking through it. And cinema, you do that as well. And the question is, um, for me, is, you know, does it matter? And there was a time, and I, I, the thing I love about architects is they still ask big questions, and they still believe that their decisions matter. You know, I love how they, they still talk about design decisions, and they believe that form and design matters. And in the mid-20th century, there was a movement, you know, with a real belief that architecture, you know, in some ways could change the world. And there's something really, uh, when you visit the town, it's a, both a town of possibility and hope. You see that. You can still feel that desire. But it's also a, a, there's also a melancholy, because you can also feel the limitations of that. You, know, you can also realize that the, you know, it's not a, a utopian town. Uh, it's not deterministic. You know, art can't, won't change everyone. Um, so there's something about the town itself that is, uh, has a profound story uh, in and of itself, and that felt really compelling. 